I grew up in Colorado and spent a lot of time watching my big brother fish, but I've never seen anything like this. A man fly fishing while riding an iceberg down a river. You're in the great outdoors, you know? All I have for outdoors are my dead trees here in New York City. But I was blown away, blown away by that fishing video. How'd you jump on that uh, bit of ice and uh, pull off the Colorado commute there? So uh, there was like a big sheet further up the river and it was kind of loose, just like pinned behind some rocks. And so I like pushed it out and it actually broke in half on some of the rocks. And then I ran across onto one of the rocks and then jumped on. And I rode it for about five minutes. It's kind of a slow flow because it's winter. <laughs> I sped the video up. It looks a lot faster, but the water was really shallow. The water was moving really slow. Yeah. Well, that's good to know that you sped it up because you were really riding that thing. I felt it was like <laughs> a... Uh, Incredible journey, uh, like wakeboarding without needing a boat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That'd be a, a death wish, riding water that fast on ice. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I was blown away. And the two of you do so much to get your little kids out in nature as well. Why is that so important? Um, I think it mostly just helps us with our mental health. Like, Kate and I have been backpacking, fly fishing, climbing. We've been um, just recreating outdoors since we were teenagers together and we just it's something we love and when we had kids we just thought why does it have to stop we'll just bring them with us yeah so Might we just, as well do it with the kids too yeah and they have so much fun it's there's like so much we have to carry it's very they're heavy but we have so much fun so it's worth all the effort it really seems like it the little kids i always whenever i'm on a hike admire the little tykes who are racing up the hill and it seems <laughs> like they're learning so much and you even have them bouldering yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have a good time. They're yeah. Out, they like to climb. They love it. Yeah. Summertime. They're super into bouldering. They love fishing. Um, we have a bunch of backpacks planned for the summer. So they're pretty stoked on it. And so are we. And, and talk about so many parents are trying to keep their kids entertained during COVID. Uh, you've obviously found a way there. Uh, what, what advice do you have? Grant, you got Colorado as the perfect playground. Uh, thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'd say just do it and as much as you can because the more the more you expose kids to the more comfortable they're with so like I we just we try to get our kids out doing as many activities as possible and we find good spots so that they're comfortable knowing their surroundings um but they just like <laughs> yeah a lot of motivational snacks a lot of motivational snacks I love that spirit of adventure amazing video and then last question <laughs> did you catch anything we didn't catch anything. Just some good vibes. <laughs> Just some good times with the kids. All right. Well, next time, good luck. Thanks so much for checking in, and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy another great Colorado weekend soon. Thanks. Thanks. Have a Have good, a good one. one, Michael. Have a good one. Bye bye.